All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to complete the Sport Chrono Package hack in my 2015 Porsche Macan, right? So my Porsche Macan originally came with uh, with this uh, clock or watch in the dashboard. Uh, this is the normal analog clock. Uh, it, because I didn't uh, have Sport Chrono, so that this is the, the clock it comes with. This is the most basic one. And then what I did is then I, I went to eBay and I bought a Sport Chrono clock. I actually painted the vessel here. And uh, this one is uh, has a digital display here. And, and then, um, so if you just install this one and don't do anything else, it would act like a normal clock. It won't have the stopwatch capability. So in the prior video, I show you the Sport Plus uh, hack. That's only a portion of the Sport Chrono package in Porsche. The other portion of the Sport Chrono is this clock and also the capability of uh, uh, the stopwatch, not only in the multifunction display, but also here as well, right? So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be installing the stopwatch capability in the multifunction display as well as in the in the in this clock right so um, stay tuned and if you haven't done so now is a good time to subscribe to the channel showing you how to remove the clock trim from the dash. Now I'm removing the clock and reinstalling the new one. Once this is done, then I go ahead and reinstall the trim in the car. All right, so let's open PWIS here. I'm going to go to simulation mode, but I want to show you uh, what it would take to activate Sport Chronos using the normal process um, that the dealer would use, right? So go to diagnostics, manual motor selection, I'm going to select the McCann here. So we go to simulation mode. F7. And let's select a 95B McCann Turbo, which is a uh, first generation. And here, uh, in order to activate uh, a Sport Chronos, you would have to go to F7 once you are in this screen. And let's go without the valve. And that will bring you to the maintenance vehicle information, which is what the, 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 which is really what you use to add uh, features or systems to your or to the Macan, or any Porsche for that matter. Uh, so now you go to maintenance of vehicle data. In here you will have, this is all the uh, like generic information. Uh, but you press uh, F12 a couple of times until you get to this one. And here you will have um, the compass, right? So you select, so this one's so very, uh, it's already have the, the compass in the Sport Chrono Package Plus. So when you select it, you see here that an activation code, code must be entered. 
in order to reactivate this equipment fissure. And there's a, a, a hexadecimal code that you need to enter here. And that code, obviously, uh, is sold by Porsche for, I think the package costs uh, like $800. And then the that doesn't include the labor, right? So you're probably talking north of uh, $1,200. And that probably doesn't include the hardware that you need, the button or anything else, right? So, uh, so that's what it takes to activate Sport Chronos. But I found a way to, as you saw in, in my in my uh, Sport Plus hack. So the Sport Chrono package includes the Sport Plus button, and also includes the the Sport Chronos, the the, the chronograph that is it goes in the dashboard, and then uh, order stopwatch. And also the in the multifunction display, you'll see an option for Sport Chrono. So it, it includes all that, right? So as you saw in my last video, the the Sport Plus hack that's one portion of Sport Chronos, right? So that uh, I was able to, to to hack that, and then you'll saw, you'll see that in the video. And also now with this coding here, uh, in if you buy a, a stopwatch and put it in the dashboard. With this new hack, now you can add that portion of the Sport Chronos, which is the activation of the chronograph through the multifunction display. All right, so that's what you get with this one. And I'm going to show you in the video how to code that using Launch X431 and Autofix Autel. Right. All right. So to code the Chronos uh, Sport. Uh, sport watch with x431 you go to x431 here then go to local diagnose porsche okay you this automatically search for my car and then here I'm going to go to system fees and then I'm going to select instrument cluster. All right. And then in instrument cluster, I'm going to go and select code brush hiding and then brush hidden modified. Uh, here a, I could either go to coding should be somewhere here. And then here, uh, you can see coding value, coding byte for auxiliary instrument selection. And you see you have the analog clock, which is the normal clock in the dashboard. If you hit that, you will see different options. Uh, analog clock, stopwatch, or compass. The Kronos uh, clock is the stopwatch. So you select that one and write the code. So go ahead and write it. And now, you should be able to see the Sport Chrono option in the multifunction display. So no need to uh, buy a code to uh, code these uh, via the maintenance of vehicle information in POEs. Another way you can do this is that when you're in this in this uh, menu selection, you go to search for code coding items, and you can write auxiliary. And then you'll see here that it uh, brings anything that has the auxiliary word in it. Uh, and what you need is that coding value number four. All right. And then uh, you'll see that it's already coded with stopwatch. All right. So uh, now uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to show you how to do this with. Uh, Autofix Hotel as well. All right, so with Autofix Hotel, you go into the Autofix icon. And again, Autofix is manufactured by Hotel. is is a is a dedicated. Uh, uh, well, this is the version that is really aimed for DIYers like me. 
um, it's cheaper than the hotel uh, so you get more value for the money all right so this is a on diagnostics then you go to control unit and here you go to instrument cluster and go to coding coding without rules you need to be connected to internet in order to do this with the uh, Autel or Autoface. That's not the case with the X431. Alright, so you have a all the different options here. So you go to the first screen. First screen you have coding. And then you should have it somewhere here. Right, so here, coding by force uh, selection of instrument is already with stopwatch because we already programmed that with, uh, or coded that with the uh, X431. But if you hit there, if you hit that, you'll see that you have the same options. You will have probably the analog clock and then you need to select stopwatch. And then you select stopwatch uh, here. Let me show you. So if you select analog clock, it says right. So you select right. We don't want that. We want to keep the stopwatch. Right, so uh, that's how you code with um, Hotel. All right. All right, now if you go to then the multifunction display and uh, select the menu, go to settings, and then display, uh, you select menu scope. You should be able to find Chrono in the, in the set of options here. You just mark that, then go back to the menu, and now you should be able to find it here, Chrono, right? Then you activate by pressing Start, and now Chrono is uh, working. You see here the clock is. Uh, uh, a normal clock right now, but when I start chrono, now it goes into chronometer mode. I wonder what round does. All right, now I'm going to stop it and reset it. And it goes back now to normal clock again. So coming back to the uh, multifunction display, now you um, have these all these other options. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to reset it. And you'll see the uh, clock resetting as well and going back to that. So that's it. Now you have the Sport Chronos here. The package is complete with the Sport Chrono and also the Sport Plus, right? So, and we did that with uh, just uh, coding and uh, adding the, uh, the switch and adding the clock. Oh,